Smart Champion was slowly away. Withhold as the early leader, followed by Ty Terror and Green Book and calling the wind. And out wide of these, the Grand Vizier is in the firing line as, as well it, with the White Blaze. Out uh, wide as they run towards a left-hand turn is Who Dares Wins, just behind Sensational. Back on the inside behind Ty Terror is last year's runner-up Rochester House, followed by Platform 19 and Everything For You, and then Coeur de Leon in the centre, Rajinsky in an orange jacket in the second half of the field, together with Cloud Gate and Cleonte and Buri Rams on the outside of those, and then Elysium Flame, Smart Champion, Margaret Dumont is towards the back on the inside. So Withhold taking them along here in the hands of Ashim Murphy, Withhold, from Green Book into second, Ty Terrier, and the Grand Vizier is right there, just going third now on the outside. Calling the Wind is in the first half dozen as well, with everything for you. As they run across from right to left, looking across from the stands. Sensationals towards the outside now, though they're heading towards a right-hand turn at Oak Tree Corner. Platform 19, then in the mid-division, Coeur de Leon. Also amongst those in the mid-division is Rajinsky and also Buriram up the outside. Cleonte is further back in the field from Cloudgate, Elysian Flame and still smart champion at the rear. Withhold by a couple of lengths or so to Green Book. Ty Terrier in third. Rochester House and calling the wind and the Grand Vizier are fourth, fifth and sixth. They're followed by Everything For You and Platform 19 and Sensational. Coeur de Leon is just chasing those, followed by the Max We Can and Who Dares Wins will be on the inside as they round this right-hand turn and about to face an uphill climb. And now going on is Rochester House, lit up perhaps by the blinkers for the first time, but he's a stout stayer. Rochester House has kicked away at this stage from Withhold, the early leader in second place as they run towards the back straight. Rochester House by a good six or seven lengths now in the hands of Joe Fanning, a fine front-running jockey in second Withhold. And then Green Book back in third and begin another climb. Withhold is the leader from Green Book. And then the Grand Vizier and Ty Terrier, sensational. And then calling the wind on the outside platform 19. Everything for you in a yellow jacket. Who dares wins on the inside. Goes okay from Coeur de Leon. And then Buriram. Further back uh, towards the rear, Cleonte is one of the back markers. And uh, the Max We Can is at the back or in the second half of the field, inside the final six now. Rajinsky in an orange jacket with plenty to do. Cloudgate is being driven along. And then towards the back, still smart champion is the bat marker. They swing right-handed and now downhill. Withhold the leader. Green Book second. The Grand Vizier is third. Then in fourth is Ty Terrier. Sensationals on the inside, calling the wind close up with a big white blaze. Out wide is platform 19, moving nicely. The Who Dares wins. Then everything for you, Buri Ram. Kurda Leon is asked for an effort. On the extreme right, smart champion beginning a long run from the very back of the field with Elysium Flame as Green Book has now headed Withhold. Green Book in the red jacket from Withhold. The Grand Vizier is battling on on the far side. Calling the Wind is just in behind them and could have something left to offer. Calling the Wind with the big white face. Cruising up now to join the leaders and they're away from Sensational and Platform 19. Green Book Withhold is fighting back then Calling the Wind. Calling the Wind is now shaken up and Calling the Wind hits the front in the hands of Pat Dobbs who's written a patient race, Green Book second, Withhold third, Platform 19, Elysium Flame from the back, but calling the wind, who ran so well at Royal Ascot in the Queen Alexandra, wins at the Goodwood Festival, tight for second, Elysium Flame running on well down the outside, far side Withhold, then Green Book, Platform 19, late headway as ever from Smart Champion. And they're off. Now, where is the pace coming from? And Andrea Azzini has bounced out El Drama and Tasman Bay taking a big drop in distance. He heads on into the lead now under David Probert from El Drama. Khartoum in the purple cap, followed by Tactical, then Rhythm Master. The hot favourite Baid is second last in these very early stages with Perotto, the back marker in the white cap. Heading through the first quarter mile, and it's Tasman Bay chased by El Drama in second place. Khartoum is third, then Tactical on the inside, Rhythm Master. Baid is weighted with, and so too Perotto. Swinging right-handed, slightly uphill at this point.
point of the course. They'll soon be heading downhill towards the home turn. And it's Tasman Bay by two and a half lengths to El Drama. And it looks like an honest looking pace. Followed in third by Khartoum, Tactical, Rhythm Master, Bayid, still second last. And lastly, Perotto. They swing the corner. Three and a half furlongs left to cover in this Bonham's Thoroughbred Stakes. And uh, up front, it's still Tasman Bay with El Drama now matching strides on the right. Followed by Khartoum, gets a shake of the reins. Tactical, Rhythm Master. Bayid is now making ground on the extreme right. The red hot favourite followed by Perotto. El Drama has worn down Tasman Bay. Here's Bayid coming there, absolutely cruising in the hands of Jim Crowley. El Drama looks a sitting duck, and Bayid just changes his legs there, and he's soon ahead. Bayid by two lengths. Jim Crowley looking round for dangers, and the horse begins to lengthen away. Bayid by four, five lengths, six lengths. This could be a superstar. Bayid has destroyed them in the thoroughbred stakes. El Drama second, Tasman Bay ran on again in for third, Perotto Tactical Khartoum and Rhythm Master and they're off, away they go, Kazar broke out well from a wide draw, going forward Corazon Espinado with Epic Endeavour and Shalia from the inside draw, the grey is probably the overall leader with Johan very close, May Danny likewise, then Epic Endeavour, the red sleeves Corazon Espinado on the outside and Path of Thunder in a good early position, the favourite, blue with a white cap on the inside and they are followed then further back by Magical Morning, who's in the leading eight or nine, with Ross Colin just ahead of him on the inside in the orange sleeves. Then Hort Zadar in a red cap. Further back in the field is acquitted an Escobar, and then Bedouin Story on the outside. And then uh, towards the back, Hartswood at the moment. Kazar's out the back. Greenside is out the back as well. Orban is another one. Trey Fleur's got lots to do, and so too has another bat as they run towards the home turn. And it's Shalir on on the inside of Corazon Espinado. These two go neck and neck. Path of Thunder spot that white cap on the inside just behind Shalir, waiting for a gap there. William Buick, followed by Johan, Epic Endeavour, Magical Morning making ground on the outside with Bedouin Story. Another bat down the outside, and then acquitted Ross Collins in behind a wall of horses as they run down inside the final two. It's Shalir, Johan, Magical Morning, out wide as Bedouin Story. Mate Danny going for a run up the far rail as they run to the final furlong, May Danny and Johan they're followed out wider by Bedouin Story, here's Escobar coming through Ross Collin now out into the clear on the far side but it's a little, looking a little bit late and it's May Danny that's two lengths clear from Escobar and Ross Collin and May Danny wins the Golden Mile, Ross Collin looked an unlucky loser on the inside of Escobar, followed home by Johan, then Orban acquitted and further back behind those Bedouin Story and another bat and uh, they're off. Batage away well. Speed towards the right with Ornate going forward. Good effort. Zargan Arecibo dropping in behind. You better believe it on the right. Jackson Symbol is tracking and they congregate into one group uh, towards the far side. Liberty Beach on the left. Batash is probably two or three lengths off the pace at the moment. Followed by Art Power. Keep busy. Glass Slippers is held up behind runners and Stone of Destiny at the rear of the field. Ornate the leader from good effort. Batash well on terms. The blue and white jacket on the left dragon symbol the grey getting a nice toe through the race Arecibo on the right with every chance then Liberty Beach as they run down with a furl and a half left to go Batash might just be in front now from Arecibo dragon symbols running on well with glass slippers on the far side and Swayzer down the near side for France Swayzer has taken it up in the King George and is soon away has kicked right away and Swayzer goes on to win Dragon Symbol second, Glass Slippers back in third, running on Keep Busy, near size Stone of Destiny, Arecibo, and Batash pretty well beaten today. And they're away. Eagles by Day looked a little bit slow to leave the stalls. Passion and Glory in the all blue jacket on the outside of Outbox in the early stages, racing up the hill. Followed by Lunak, Pablo Escobar just going third on the inside in the green and white jacket. And then back in fifth is Without a Fight, followed by Foxtel, Eagles by Day, and Yukon Glen is held up in last place as they run through the first quarter mile or so in this Lormorans. Queen's Plate, glorious stakes. 
and Passion and Glory, the favourite here, seeking a hat-trick of wins, leads by two and a half to three lengths over Outbox. Pablo Escobar, last year's winner, is third. Another three lengths away to Alunak in fourth without a fight in the yellow jacket on the outside of the nose-banded Foxtail, grey jacket then of Eagles by Day, and finally the eight-year-old, the old-timer, Yukon Glenn, at the back of the field, about uh, ten lengths behind this leader, Passion and Glory. Passion and Glory striding out well in the lead from Outbox in second. Pablo Escobar. These three have got a bit of a break on the field. Alunak in fourth. Foxtail and without a fight together. And together at the back, Eagles by Day on the inside of Yukon Glen. Racing uphill now towards the six furlong marker. And still Passion and Glory. Sheen Murphy has made it all so far, leads by a length to Outbox and Holly Doyle in second place. Pablo Escobar, without a fight, is making him forward move on the outside then of a Lunac, just nudged along. Foxtel, Yukon Glen, Eagles by Day now at the back of the field. Turning back towards home and beginning a run downhill. Passion and Glory from Outbox. Without a fight has made headway on the outside. Pablo Escobar on the inside then, Alunac. There followed by Foxtel, Yukon Glen is now within about six or seven lengths of the lead and lastly Eagles by Day. Running down the home straight and on their way towards the three furlong marker. Passion and Glory with Outbox for company. Outbox is challenging hard. Without a fight now rustled up. Pablo Escobar on the inside looking for a way through. So too is a Lunac. A Yukon Glen about to be pulled wide by Paul Morrennan as they run down inside the two. Still Passion and Glory the one to get by here from Outbox and without a fight. Here comes Yukon Glen charging down the outside from Pablo Escobar. They run down to the final full on Passion and Glory. Yukon Glen coming right down the middle of the track, the eight-year-old. Passion and Glory's clear far side from Foxtel. Yukon Glen on the near side striving to get on terms. Foxtel is running on well. Passion and Glory far side just held on. Yukon Glen down the near side probably took second. Foxtel between them. Right, Dandy Dinmont in the green jacket, perhaps a little bit slower than some of the others. Golden Hurst away well. Red, yellow spots down the centre. Catch Cunningham over on the stand side is the leader, the, probably the overall re- leader now in the noseband with a trope power showing speed in the blue and white jacket. Far side Sal's from Mabry in the red and yellow stripes down the near side in the orange sleeves is ever given from Sterling Knight. Adeb red, white sleeves, far side. Dandy Dinmont is racing very keenly behind the leaders now. They're chased by Raw Tarn and Sir Henry Cotton and Rob John and Jadlan is on the extreme right, the grey in the hands of Jim Crowley, racing down to the final two furlongs. Catch Cunningham, still the leader. Out in the centre, Goldenhurst. Far side is Sows. Uh, running on a bit is uh, Trope Palo under pressure, followed by Sterling Knight. Ever Given getting there on the near side now. This one unleashed. Ever Given has quickened up well for Danny Tudhope. Chased by Jadlon, and they're going to fight it out down this stand side. It's Ever Given from Jadlon. Rob John runs on. Sows in the centre, but Ever Given, that was a decisive pick up there inside the two, and Ever Given goes on to score in good style from Jadlon. Jadlon in second, Rob John third, Sowles was fourth. Starting off uphill, and State of Bliss got away well in the pink jacket with Mickey D right there as well and Tribal Art in the silver silks towards the outside is Marching Army, the all blue colours as they round the top turn. Uh, just behind the leaders is Scampi and then Champagne PF. And uh, towards the rear of the field, wink of an eye is third last at the moment. Bill Pato and something enticing is the bet marker. They're well strung out in these early stages with State of Bliss taking them along from Tribal Art. Mark Johnston train runners first and second here. And then uh, in third is Mickey D on the inside of Marching Army, followed by Ziggy and Scampi. Amy Beach then on the outside of Champagne PF. Something enticing in the yellow jacket towards the back, just behind Wink of an Eye. And uh, last of all is Bill Pato. 
They'll be racing round the lower bend into the home straight over this mile and three. And it's State of Bliss continues to cut out the pace from Tribal Art in second. Mickey D is third, and then Marching Army moving up a bit on the outside for Godolphin. Scampi is right there under O'Shea Murphy in the grey and pink jacket. Ziggy on the inside, the red with the black cap. Then Champagne Piaf towards the inside of Amy Beach as they run into this bend. And then further back, Wink of an Eye still held up third last by Ryan Moore, Bill Pato, and something enticing. About to turn into the home straight here. They're going to run for the four furlong marker. And it's State of Bliss by a length to Tribal Art. In uh, third place then on the inside is Mickey D. Marching Army with every chance. Ziggy travels well in behind them. A wink of an eye on the extreme right there in the scarlet sleeves. Beginning to make up ground with Amy Beach out wide. Scampy is edged a little wide of Marching Army as they run down the home straight. Ziggy's a bit short of room having travel well. Getting through the gap now. Meanwhile State of Bliss trying to make the best of his way home here. Scampy is unleashed now by She Murphy. Ziggy coming there wink of an eye is now with a thundering run down the outside scampy wink of an eye and on the far side state of bliss they're going to fight it out here ziggy is back in fourth wink of an eye on the near side scampy fighting hard so too state of bliss behind them is ziggy as they race up towards the line it's wink of an eye just in front wink of an eye for her majesty has won the last race in second state of bliss then came scampy and the staying on ziggy